I'd like to start our evening together with a story. A story about a story. My wife and I have a daughter named Jane. She's two and a half years old, and she loves books. I, I've been trying to get her to watch TV, but she likes to read. And so we have a lot of books in her room, and every night Jane picks one, and we read it to her. Usually it's the same ones over and over again. Every night's either, oh, the places you'll go, if you give a pig a pancake, astronauts and what they do, which is a terrible one, and, or please, puppy, please, which is good. I know every one of these books by heart, but last night Jane picked a new one off the shelf. She picked this one. It's called Millie, Molly, and Jimmy Seeds. Now, this is a gift from one of my coworkers here, Joanna Jordan, who books the guests on our show. When our daughter was born, she sent this, presumably because my wife's name is Molly and I'm Jimmy. So we don't know who Millie is, but <laughs> fine. We like to meet new people, okay? So last night, Jane pulls this one off the shelf, and my wife opens it, and first of all, put this up, Joanna wrote a nice little note. She wrote, Jimmy, this book is for you to read to Jane. Uh, Joe, so, which is, I'm glad she made that clear because I thought we were supposed to eat off of it. I didn't know it was for me to read to her, but... So it's nice that she sent it, and my wife starts reading, and here's how it goes. We may look different, but we feel the same. Nice, next page. One day, Jimmy's desk was empty. Jimmy wasn't the sort to stay in bed with a colder bump. He wasn't the sort to stay in bed at all. Jimmy loved school. And then it talks about how Jimmy loved the garden at school and working with the gardener at school. And then it's back to this. Jimmy's desk was empty again the next day. And this is where Jane starts asking, where did Jimmy go? And my wife says, he's coming back. We'll see him soon. Don't worry. And then one morning, Miss Blythe seemed different. She sat on the small chair in the middle of the classroom and asked everyone to gather closely around her. She explained gently that Jimmy wouldn't be coming back to school. And now at this point, Molly stops reading. My wife, she's like, okay, that's enough. Let's read a different book because <laughs> the next line of this book is, she said very softly that Jimmy had been taken to the hospital and had died peacefully in the night. <laughs> Miss Blythe stretched arms around everyone and they all cried together. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I know. So Molly didn't read, of course, did not read that part. She stopped reading, but Jane now senses something's wrong, and she starts saying, what happened to Jimmy? Can I see him? Is he happy? Is he happy? Which the answer, I don't know. He, no, he's not happy. He's dead. <laughs> Jimmy is dead. <laughs> the end. So I want to just want to say thank you for that, Joanna. <laughs> they, they say two and a half is about the age you should start telling kids stories about their dad dying. So <laughs> we appreciate it. Yes. There you go. Hi, I'm Jimmy Kimmel. If you like that, click the subscribe button below and good things will happen forever.